May I now request the CEO of Prakashana Global Foreign Translations and Publications Office, Mr. Isaac Tigret, to address us all. Mr. Isaac Tigret also worked with Bhagwan in establishing the never before heard of free medical center in the United States of America in Mississippi, which was inaugurated just last month. I now call upon Mr. Isaac Tigret to address us. My journey in India is over. I never thought that I would get to speak this last time on behalf, not of myself, but of my master, our master, Satya Sai Baba. You're all probably wondering why I gave you darshan just a few minutes ago up on the balcony. It's because he told me to. If he told me to jump off this building, I would jump in a flat second. How many of you would jump with me? <laughs> We'll see at the moment what happens. Yesterday, Swami called Narasimha Murthy and myself to his home, and he told us that today he wanted us to make an announcement on his behalf. I never dreamed that this moment would finally come. He said at 9.30 tomorrow, this, this morning, an entirely new era of his advent would begin. He spoke of the other eras when he first announced at a young age that he was an avatar. And for many years, people thought he was a great saint, a mystic, a holy man, one of the many that India has produced for millennium after millennium. Then, in 1964, at the age of 38, three days before Guru Purnima, he went into a coma. He became paralyzed. Many said, ah, yes, there's that holy man, you see. He then came out of his coma, still paralyzed, and said, take me down, and I want to speak and make an announcement to those that are here on the morning of Guru Purnima, 1964, at his sweet age of 38. First, he asked Kasturi, he could barely talk, to put holy water on his right hand. He did this. And suddenly, the paralysis in that right hand went away, and he could move his hand. He reached over and grabbed some holy water and put it on his left hand. And suddenly, the left hand also was able to move. He then took the water and sprayed it on himself. And the paralysis was gone. This was all part of a transition, a monumental transition, 
in which he then announced to the crowd, I am God. He announced that Shirdi Sai Baba, he had been a Shiva energy, that as such a Sai Baba, he was Shiva and Shakti, and that a third, at that time unknown, avatar would come called Prima Sai, who would represent who would represent the energy of Shakti, which is, from my perspective, the energy of the Christo. It's the power of love and brotherly love. Many people were shocked, he told us yesterday. Many, many ran away. Many were angry, very angry. Many were confused, very confused. And many found it attractive. Wow, we can follow this God man. We can find God by worshiping him. So for the many years that followed, for those of us who were blessed to go to Puttaparthi in those, especially those early years, he began to pronounce many truths. And as he told us yesterday, everything I say is truth. Do you know that, Tigret? Yes, I know that. I beseech all of you to know that as well today. He then said, the next phase began 11 years ago, when he suddenly appeared as the subtle body. And again, many were left running, many scared, many confused, and many found it very attractive to follow him. He spoke of the fact that up until now, the things that you've said and done, believing in God, believing in all these lessons, is nothing but chat, 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 he said. Because the doors to a higher consciousness have been closed for millennium. No one, he said, can fathom God. So we worship the little body and now a second phenomenon. But he said, I am the Lord of all 14 locusts. <laughs> and up until this day, no one, because the doors of higher consciousness have been closed for millennium. No one has been able to raise their consciousness except a handful whose fate it was. He said, tomorrow morning at 9.30, the doors to superconsciousness will open. I was there at his home this morning at 9.30, meditating, and he gave me the vision, and I saw those doors open, and the golden steps reaching to a higher consciousness. So many beings in celebration at that moment, so many here now. Because now this is your opportunity. You can now, all of you, which he has chosen, raise your consciousness into the understanding that you are divine beings, that all you see is divine. This is your opportunity to lead others 
You are the chosen ones at this particular moment and the advent of this avatar. He said there was a whole sand of humanity with a few iron filings in the sand, and I became the magnet and drew all of them to me. You are here today on invitation. Not only just an invitation to be in his presence, but now, as of this morning at 9.30, a new era has begun. For the first time in millennium, the ability to raise your consciousness to that of knowledge of total divinity in all things has begun. It is up to you now to walk up that, those steps, those golden, beautiful steps I saw this morning. All of us have this chance now. It's real. No one could do it before the doors were closed. And all we were doing is, as he put it, chat, 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 chat. If you take this opportunity, as he said to us also this morning, others can follow. It is inevitable that the three advents, and especially with the new one that's coming, who will simply vibrate, that the entire world, he said, in less than a dozen decades, every living person, their consciousness will rise and they will know that they are divine and everything in this world is divine. That is inevitable and it is going to happen. It's quite an auspicious, that's not even a good word, cosmic event doesn't do it justice, but that event has started this morning. It is now up to you. It is up to you to give up the chains, the chains that has bound you to ignorance from the moment that you set on this path, and that is the change, chains of duality, believing that you're here and God is over there. I watched it from my perch in Puttaparthi every day that he would walk through those gates. Everybody would swoon with the energy of duality, of ignorance, of ignorance. Now, this has been washed away. The doors are open. The stairs to superconsciousness are there for each and every one of you to climb. He has given this rare opportunity and brought you all here for this very day. In fact, your entire lives, this life, perhaps even all the previous lives, have been to lead you to this day. These are his words, not mine. If you believe he is truth, then you will realize that what he has asked me to convey to you is a divine and wonderful boon for the people that call themselves devotees of Satya Sai Baba. So today, this Guru Purnima, marking another adventure, another aspect of this advent of three, begins no different, only another step as it was back in 1964, 
at the age of 38 when he announced that he is God. From that time on, he kept telling you, you were too. No one really understood what that meant. The opportunity to know this is now at hand for all of you here. I hope that you take that opportunity because he's counting on you to lead the way for others as they see you desireless, selfless, reaching out with compassion to others, they will follow you. Because inherently they are all divine and inherently deep inside each, they are looking for the stairway to heaven. I hope that I have served him well today I feel so honored in this, probably my last speech as my mission ended, to be announcing his words, to be telling you what an extraordinary moment has begun. He does not interfere with your free will. You have now, though, the doors open. You can walk those steps. He said yesterday, that the young children in this hall 50 years from now will proclaim I was there. I was there when the doors opened. Sarah. <laughs>